I knew I saw. Look at that. Found a screw in here. That is not what you need. Look at that thing. Yeah, and the water's down significantly. All right, well, probably should have worn uh I should have grabbed my damn shoes. What was I thinking? Mm, no, it wasn't. Okay. All right, well, I haven't been over here in a while. I'm going to be, uh, I feel like I need to be back to making some videos. I kind of missed it. I, I've missed it. I have. I have missed it quite a bit. I'm going to be making my own videos, editing my own stuff. I'm kind of going back to the old school, like five, six, seven years ago, Rob, where it's just me, myself, and a camera. I should be linking up hopefully with John B this week, or I'm going to be going out with next week with him. I don't know. This week or next week doesn't really matter. I can tell you right now, the water is down here. The water's down. I probably would know that if I've been fishing a little bit more. I feel like I'm also going to regret this decision of walking barefoot all the way across this parking lot. But look at this. This actually pan out and looks pretty good. This looks really good actually so there's the end of that this project is absolutely done and over with probably gonna pay attention when i'm walking oh god my tootsies are not prepped in. oh this isn't bad this isn't bad right here i know we really haven't talked to each other in seems like quite a long time i've been in the middle of building another business which is really just in the sports card industry just sports memorabilia industry it's in it's been doing pretty well i just hired my uh, a new guy yesterday he seems like he's know what he's doing somewhat i'm gonna take the day off maybe the next two days off maybe the next week off and just go fishing i know i'm going i'm taking my daughter this next this coming weekend up to my old ranch i got the okay to actually go fish there which i'm pretty excited to go share with you guys and myself i want to see what the fish actually look like she'll all be like four to five pounders remember the, the lake i built yeah we're gonna go there this weekend actually see what it's like and oddly enough ever since i finished this thing this is really the first real voyage this thing's actually seen like on a real body of water but yeah what i mean like the water's down it is down but it's very clean look at this very clean hoping to find some as you guys would probably expect this time of the year with me to find them on bed i hope oh the best part about this that's literally going to be like my version of a power pole i have no poles we're going old school we're just gonna <laughs> I say old school. And we got a big 12 on the front. We're going to go old school with nothing in the back and see if we can find them. Yes, bed fishing without poles. It's going to be one of those kind of days. I don't even know if they'll be on bed. I would assume they're going to be on bed because I've done this enough in my life. Ugh. The water is down like a lot. Let's get after it. Oh. Yeah, fuel gauge works. Look at that. I got a working fuel gauge. That is literally non-existent. God bless. This thing's great. This thing's great. All right. Got the pirate wheel going. Let's get the shoes back on. I ain't gonna lie. I don't want these things on. I've got a meeting in four minutes. I probably should hop on. God bless it. Okay. Let's go ahead and pull some of this stuff out. What do we got? Junior Banditos is 100%. Water's gonna be clean so I can see. And we'll go with green pumpkin purple. Why not? Oh, I gotta throw the tubes off. <laughs> I'm gonna throw the tubes. Pull those tubes out. Oh, yeah, look at that one. Mud minnow. Very low water. So, I actually, I have uh, the Zal Dangerous, you know, the, the Chris Zaldane swim bait that he had designed us with over here on uh, Bass Mafia. This thing, I have this actually weightless i'm not entirely sure if i want to throw weightless i have it weightless just because just out the gate just just to start off because there's no wind clearly and very shallow and then i got a one of our tubes on one of the dube tubes which is tied on i got one of those and then i just threw on a junior bandito bug that's really pretty much it oh i got an echo rig an echo rig but that's pretty much what i want to start off with i'm gonna throw this around for a little bit just to kind of get my bearings i mean it it is very clean and very shallow which, I mean, that's not terrible, but they're going to be spawning all the way out of here, for God's sakes. I mean, look how far off I'm from the bank I am. I mean, if I can see the bottom here, they're going to be all the way out of here. The big ones will. This is how I wanted to start my day right here. Hell yes. Casting right on top of something. Welcome back, folks. Sh hasn't changed. Good start. Good start. All right. Let's... <sighs> okay. Well, thank God I know the person that owns that company. Here, I have one of these. This is what I'm talking about right here. This is what I'm using. Bass Mafia Dangerous Swim Bait. You guys, if you guys have not seen these things, they were made by Chris Daldane. Uh, matter of fact, story is, I was actually sitting on this lake, on this same stretch of bank, talking to Chris like two years ago about making a swim bait. And I said, why don't we call it the Dangerous Swim Bait? Because his last name is Zaldane. He did a phenomenal job. This is the unloaded version though, which is doesn't have weight and everything. You should see the one that we have coming out called the loaded. It is absolutely, it's nuts. But this will be a player today, I think. I think I've already, I only brought one package out other than the one you just showed. 
<sighs> so there's that. All right, now I gotta find, God bless. God, I think I may just have to pitch. I might do a lot of pitching on these things. Because that is a bass right there, yeah. God, oh, I can see it. That was a giant. Oh my God, the very first one back was a fucking tank. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, shit. okay. Oh God, that's what I get for not fishing for a while. That was a big one. <laughs> oh my God. So I've been bebopping around out here and it's really clean, like really clean. And I can't really get close to these big clumps of say buck brush or what do you want to call it underneath the water i can't really get close to it because my boat's really loud it just taps it's like see there's a little bass swimming off there so i just said you know what screw it i'm gonna start blind casting to some of these they keep spooking bass off of them and that was that was a big and that thing was like that <laughs> oh my god definitely probably want to come back later on oh my god i just i was like man that doesn't feel right and you're just swimming off in with it Jeez louise see i kind of miss that a little off my game a little bit a little off my game a little bit. Little, little, little bandito bug. Okay. My bait's moving, isn't it? Yep. Yep. Oh, my lands. Oh, my lands. My bait was moving, son. Just scooped it on up. First fish is about to hit the deck. I feel good about it. I seen these things when I came over earlier. Oh, I seen you. I seen a whole bunch of you. Oh my lands, look at you. Popped out first fish on the rig of the new year. Yeah, that is crazy. That's crazy. I think we're gonna have to do this. I think we're gonna have to get back into it. I feel good about it. I feel good about it, son. Feel good. I know, I'm back. I'm out here all alone screaming, talking to myself. <laughs> it's so weird, but I'm excited about it. I'm excited about it. I actually gotta, uh, gotta retie already. I feel good. Damn, it feels good to be back. Go ahead and put a new bandito bug, retie just cause I just got wrapped around a tree. I could feel it. Ooh. Oh my God, I felt good. Okay, we're back. There's another one. I thought I was right. See, look, we still got it. I knew I'd seen a handful or so in there. Oh my God, we are so back. I feel so good about it. Take like six months off, come back. Dome a couple, dome a couple. Another one about the same size. They do look really clean though. There's a handful of them back up in there. Imagine when all the females come up with them. Oh my God, it'd be a damn orgy on those tires. Try some. Try some. You know, I'm not really not mad with that uh, that start. We missed one big one, caught two little two little males. Now we're gonna go be excuse me. Now we're gonna go bebop around though. I'm gonna come back over to this area here in a little bit. I think as the day goes on and progresses, some might slide up. I don't know. I haven't been fishing out here. That's just my guesstimation. We're gonna go. The only thing is, is going farther south. It's gonna get a little chillier. I don't know. I'm gonna give it a shot just because. Why though? My God, I have been bebopping around this lake. There's a lot more people out here than I anticipated. Everything, everywhere I go on the south side, there's boats. Oh my gosh. Everybody's taking advantage of the weather. Just gonna kind of work my way back up, up the lake. I'm just gonna start flipping. That guy does not care about how much fuel he spends right there. Oh. All right, so I've been bebopping around. There's been a lot of people everywhere. I, I kind of feel like I like the water that's a little bit dingier and it has a little bit more ripple on it. Everybody else is down there in that really, really super clean stuff. I, I don't know. I've never really done really well fishing for largemouth and really ultra clean water. That's just not my thing. So I'm gonna stick to what I know. I'm gonna go for a little bit of dinge and a little bit of ripple. It's a little bit more difficult to see them. So I think I can actually do a little bit better doing that. I'm just gonna bebop around for the next like five-ish hours or so. It should work. I feel good about that. Oh, I stepped in. That's how I have it. Probably in the chops, pretty much gone over here now. 
All right, so I bebop through here earlier and it was really, really, really choppy. Um, there was a lot of, there, you're gonna see like a lot of carp. There's a ton of carp on the bank, but I, there's two fish that were like one there and one somewhere over there. I'm pretty sure we can get them to eat. Yeah, see, this has got a little bit more dinge to me. I, I, I like a little dinge, just a little bit. I mean, it's still super clean to what I'm used to, but for this lake, this has got some dinge. It's kind of just way far away on this one. Oh, I just got bumped, didn't I? Maybe. Oh my freaking God, he had it. He swam way out with it. I knew it, son. He's, man, and God, that thing swam like a mile with it. Yanked it right out of its mouth. Oh, there he is, I see it. I see it. Do I have it? Is this one? Yes, it is. It's got it that time. God, I found you. Had to switch angles a little bit, huh? Switch angles a little bit. Oh, fat one. Oh, fat girl. Pretty sure it's a male. They don't have wieners. Hard to tell. There we go. Number, what is that, number three? Not a terrible one. This one definitely has, definitely has been up there spawning, 100%. Oh, my land. I'm going to get it back in there. I'm going to get it back in there. Go ahead. Oh, flip and gone, son. Look at this thing. You guys cannot tell me that this is not. This ain't it. I will say, these little knobs, they will give you some, I mean, that, that will happen right there. That will happen. So you gotta kinda like spread eagle, kinda like you're sitting in the middle of a, uh, like Stormy Daniels or something, you know what I mean? This guy wants to race! That's what I'm talking about! Bless it. Another good one. I can see it. I can see it right there. Damn. Felt like a bunk. Went straight slack. Damn, that was a good one. I'm just gonna go flip an old junior bandito bug, green pumpkin purple around on every single isolated piece of cover. That's where all these uh, these two big ones I've had that have popped off. I'm gonna say it has a little bit to do with me not fishing for like six months. Maybe just a little bit of uh, not great luck. Damn, man. Wham! Slack. Checked, it was there. Like, my God. Must have just barely had its skin hooked. That was another one. God. Same spot as that last good one. Come on now. Literally the same spot. Flip back in there. This might be the mail it. Oh, geez, almost went over. Literally, that one, boom, again. Oh my God, what is going on here? Oh, a little bit of an accident on this side. Look at that. Old boy's been struggling. Old boy's been struggling. Legit, the next flip in that same area. I, I, I may have had the female the first time. It was a lot bigger than that one. I can assure you guys that. Feel good. I, you know what? We're getting back into it. I flipped in, there was a doom, and I think I even said it this time. There's one. Hey, can you do me a salt and let me know possibly when my boat, my boat could be done? I don't even remember what month last year. Oh, geez, I got a fish on right now. Give me a second. Oh, geez, a wee. Actually, probably decent fish. Hold on, I got a decent fish on right now. Sorry, I was calling to find out when my boat was going to be done. Oh, thank you. Geez, a wee. A good little fish right here came out of nowhere. Oh, my God, bless it, son. That is a spawn of one. I've always seen one right there. There we go. Oh, Lordy Lord, look at that one. I like it. Thawn. So I said spawn. Look at that thing. All beat up. All beat up. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. There we go. I got one. Got a decent one. I think I'm on a little bit of a pattern here. I think I'm on a little bit of a pattern here. I kind of like it. There we go. All right. There you go, girl. Okay, I feel good about it. I'm actually, actually on the phone trying to figure out. Uh, I have another boat coming. I've ordered one a year ago. Just wondering when it was going to come in, and that's a good little fish. So that one I, I just saw it swim off was 100% smaller than the <laughs> the last one I just missed. So, kind of give you guys a little bit of a, a size comparison. I, I feel good about it. We've been gone doing this for like six months, and we come back, and I feel like we're we're actually picking up some pattern here. I feel like I'm going to bounce around now this entire portion of this lake. And it's go boom, 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 boom. It's, it's what I love to do too. 
I love it. Still looking for a big fat, like we need like a seven pounder. I think I need a seven pounder to make myself feel good about first time back. Got another one. They are back in here. Oh, that's a better one. Oh, that's a better one. They are back up in here. I'll tell you guys what, look at this. Now we're finding them. Look at that big boy. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Oh my lands. I love it. I love it. I love it. Come on. Don't shake it off, girl. Don't shake it off. I like it. You make me happy. You make me happy. Oh my God. That ain't it. Gotcha. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. That's a good one. That's a good one, son. There's a good one. Look at that. Oh, Dito. Oh, Dito bug. Change it up a little bit. Found a new spot. And we are absolutely hammering down on some, huh? What is that? Four fish on like five casts? I like it. Oh my God. That thing was on there. That was on there, buddy. Oh, we are. Ah, oh, that makes me feel good. All right. I'm going to go ahead and say that's a, that is for sure a female. And she absolutely swallowed my Dito bug. I love it. God bless. That's got to be four plus. I would say if I was a if I was a gambling man, I'd say she was four plus. She is she is feeling she's feeling good. Don't even know where my uh, scale is. That shouldn't shock anybody. Should just shouldn't shock anybody. Oh, uh, shouldn't shock anybody. I wonder if my live oil even works. I kind of wanna kind of wanna wear. I feel good about her. She's good five five pounder I think. So on a good note, this works. We got a live oil that actually works. Fish is standing up. I wanted to throw it in there mainly because I wanted to see if I can find a an actual like scale in the boat. And I don't. I'm like thinking in my head. I think it might be inside of one of my uh, one of my tackle toters. I think so. Damn. I just I wanted to say I caught a five pounder today on my first day back. You know. But I, I think that might be the case. I think it might be the case. All right. Don't freak out. I got you. I'm gonna put you. Up. All right. All right. All right. I'm gonna put you right back. Don't worry. Oh, it feels good to be back, boys. Feels good to be back. I'm just gonna go ahead and give her a good toss out here. I say a good toss. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do this. All right, baby girl. See you. All right, that makes me happy. I know it's not like the mega. It's a good fish. It is a really good fish. I'm happy with it. I'm happy with it. Take it right now. I'm actually really pleased with this boat as well. I'm actually really pleased with this boat. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. It is tiny compared to what I'm used to, but I do like it. You know what's the best part about it? Now you guys get to see what I get to do after this. I got like a two and a half hour drive home. I'll eat dinner with the wife and then I got to work till 2 a.m. That'll almost be a 24 hour pop right there. I got up at five, I'll be working till two. That's what I've been doing. Trying to build this business has been nuts. Made it home seven, uh, come on now, seven. Yeah, there we go, 747. Got up at five, it's now eight. Now we got to go to our uh, second job. Second job. There it is. What time is it? 12.23 in the morning. 12.23 just finished a stream here. This is actually what it looks like on the back end. If you guys haven't seen us over there on whatnot, that's pretty much what I do. It's fun. It's a lot of fun. A lot of work. Like I said, I got up at 5 this morning. I'm probably not going to get into bed till probably, I'm going to say 1.30ish. A little after 1.30. That's it. When you're trying to build a business, this is what you got to do. Grind your absolute nether regions into the dirt. That's that's what I've been doing. It's uh, it is a lot, and it's a very, it's a very uh, not just hectic when it comes to like mentally and just through my daily life, but my God, the amount of cash it's taken me to do this, this project, it's just God. I hope it pans out. If not, I basically just paid for like all of my children's college tuitions, like right there on that table. So please, God, Lord above, don't let me fail. But other than that, I do love you guys. I will catch you guys on another episode over here on Lunkers TV. Other than that. I'm out, y'all.